and Andy, this is for you, one of our favorite books, Mrs. Biddlebox by Linda Smith. Mrs. Biddlebox. On a naughty little hill in the a dreary little thump, Mrs. Biddlebox rolled over on the wrong side of her bunk. The birds gave her a headache. There were crickets in her hair. A breeze blew dank and dreary and mussied up her hair. So she slammed the door on morning and sat thinking what to do. Her tea was dark and bitter, her crumplies, her crumplets hard to chew. But with her belly full of grumblies and her hands upon her hips, an idea burst inside her and whizzed from her lips. I will cook the rot this rotten morning. I will turn it into cake. I will fire up my oven. I will set the day to bake. Mrs. Biddlebox got busy. She grabbed a pot and broom, and she tromped out into the morning to gather up the gloom. She snapped, snatched up a pile of grubby, grubby lawn. She plucked a filthy shadow from the folds of her skirt, old skirt. She, when the fog gave her the whiffles, she held her broomstick steady, stabbed the dreary lot of it, and whirled, twirled it like spaghetti. Mrs. Biddlebox reached up and hooked a ray of sun and yanked it like a ball of yarn until it came undone. She rolled the sky like carpeting. The birdies flew away. Now the pot was overflowing with that despicable bad day. So she ripped and whisked and beat it. She rolled the dough up, day out flat. Mrs. Biddlebox laughed gleefully. Her hands went pat, pat, pat. The, when the dough was finally finished, when it came, when it rose up fat and light, she stomped it down into a tin with witchetty delight. And oh, the baked day, day baked merrily, and oh, the spicy heat. Miss Biddlebox could not deny it was turning out quite sweet. She poured a cup of lovely tea, she set a pretty plate, she cut a merry slice of cake, and ate, and ate, and ate. Mm -hmm. And now with her belly full of crumblies and her nighty cat pulled tight, she threw the door wide open and welcomed in the night. On a naughty little hill in a cozy little heap, Miss Biddle box rolled over, closed her eyes, and went to sleep. We love you, Annie.